Hello there. Hi, I'm Steve Sansweet, and I collect Star Wars. Welcome to Rancho Obi-Wan, my own little piece of Star Wars heaven on Earth. Now, it's not easy sometimes being a Star Wars collector and having a large collection, but sometimes you luck out and you find a chicken ranch like this one used to be and a barn that has about 5,000 square feet. Now, you may also know me as head of fan relations and director of content management at Lucasfilm, and I've written a couple of Star Wars books, too. It all makes up who I became after a long career as a Wall Street Journal reporter and editor. So come on along with me. I'll try to explain some things about Rancho Obi-Wan and how and why it came to be. So this is the main part of Rancho Obi-Wan, my private museum. I didn't mean to become a Star Wars collector. It's one of those things that just sort of happened. I guess I've had a collector mentality all of my life. When I was a kid, I used to collect anything. I made model kits, and I loved science fiction growing up. I read all of the novels that were out, all of the picture books. I grew up with the space program. And then, many years later, I was doing a front page story for the Wall Street Journal in 1976 on toy collecting. One of the guys I interviewed said, do you want to know what the next hot thing is? And brought out a case of plastic robots. I was hooked. I saw a little price tag on it, $2.99, Hollywood Toy Shop. I went there after the interview, bought nine different robots off the shelf, added batteries to all of them. They marched across my kitchen floor, and that was the beginning of the space toy collection. A year later, a movie came out. And Star Wars just blew me away. And, of course, there started to be items produced for Star Wars. At first, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff, but now I'm having trouble fitting everything into a 5,000-square-foot barn. I lived in Los Angeles for 26 years. I had a house on stilts, a one-story house, which was great until I started collecting. Then the one-story house became a two-story house, which eventually became a three-story house, and then one storage locker which eventually became five storage lockers. So things were, you know, a little crowded. So when I started looking for space up in Northern California, when I became part of Lucasfilm, one of the things I told the real estate guy was, I have this collection. Now, in his mind, you know, a collection. But I said, Rich, it's a really big collection. We looked around for a couple of months before he brought me to what is now Rancho Obi-Wan. This building used to be a chicken coop, then it became a barn, and then it was used to manufacture machinery for cabinet makers. But by the time I saw it, there were doors falling off, light coming in, no walls, no ceilings, but all I saw was the space. I mean, literally the hairs on my arm raised, and I said in a low voice to my real estate agent, this is the place. You know, the problem is, there is never enough room when you're a collector. But having a space like this has enabled me to really organize and reorganize the collection. So you are always playing around as a collector, whether you have a spare bedroom, your garage, or a barn. There is never enough space. But it's fun. I mean, being a collector has to be a lot of fun. It's, it's in your genes. It's something that you love to do, and you like to enjoy it with friends, too. I mean, showing the collection is probably the most fun I have. And, you know, these guys sometimes help me, too. Well, that's a little bit about how I became a collector. In future episodes here on Hyperspace at StarWars.com, we're going to explore the wonderful wide world of Star Wars collecting. This can be your rendezvous point. I wish millions of Star Wars collectors could come here in person and visit Rancho Obi-Wan, but it would be tough getting through the five pit bulls, the moat, and the rancor, of course. In future episodes, we're going to look at vintage action figures, food collectibles, 
standees, sheets and pillowcases maybe. We'll go into the art gallery, the arcade, the library. There is so much to explore that has to do with Star Wars memorabilia. Things that may be familiar, but there'll be great stories behind them. Or things, hopefully, that you've never seen before. So come on along for what's really going to be a, a, a lot of fun, a journey of exploration for all of us, including my friend here, Mr. Bantha. Right? Okay. See you later.